Hi, I'm Tracy Hillstrom, Senior Product Line Manager for Readers and Antennas and Impinge. And today, I'm going to introduce you to our Speedway Connect 1.0 software program. As you probably already know, delivering an automated data collection system today typically requires one to integrate the best AIDC technologies available. And more and more people are turning to RFID as their technology of choice. Now, to make things even easier for you, we've created a software program called Speedway Connect. Speedway Connect is a licensed program which runs directly on the Speedway Revolution RFID reader and will enable you to easily plug in RFID technology where barcode technology is currently being used. Whether you're new to RFID or an experienced integrator, Speedway Connect will enable you to quickly configure the reader so that you can easily pass data to your application. So whether you're providing keystrokes using USB, HID, a serial or Ethernet connection, or even web delivery, you can now deploy your RFID solution without costly code changes or middleware expenses. To demonstrate how easy our new software program works, I've asked my colleague, Pete Privatira, to provide a brief demonstration. In fact, Pete's going to get the reader up and running in less than five minutes. Let's check it out. So let's get the timer started to see just how quickly we can do this. Now that the clock has started, let me uh, first start by installing Speedway Connect. And to do that, I'll point a web browser to my reader, entering the host name, and I'll be prompted to log in. And then I'll point it to the Speedway Connect installation file and click Upgrade. Now that'll begin the upgrade process. While that is happening, I'm going to start writing my application in Ruby. And uh, I almost hesitate to call it an application because it's just a few lines of code. Um, first, we'll have to import the socket library. Um, second of all, we'll create a new socket. And we'll open that socket. And we've got to provide it the host name of the reader. And the port. And the standard port with Speedway Connect is 14150, but that is completely configurable. Um, then I'm going to read lines in a loop. And I'm going to print those lines to the screen. done, I'm going to close the socket. And that's it. Let me save that script. I'm going to call it read tags. And let's take a look at where we are in the update. It looks like Speedway Connect is installed and the reader is ready to be rebooted. So I'll click the reboot button. While the reader is rebooting, I'll bring up a terminal window and when it connects. Okay, it looks like the reader is rebooted, so I'll bring up the Speedway Connect configuration screen. You can do that by entering the host name of the reader in a web browser, followed by the port 8080. I just want to verify that on the output tab, I have TCP IP socket selected and the port 14150 specified. Uh, once again, that's config the uh, port is configurable. So I'm going to uh, leave that selected and uh, use the other defaults as well. I'll bring my terminal window back up and uh, run my Ruby script, which is called read tags. The program is connected to the TCP IP socket and it's waiting for tag results. I'll go ahead and put some tags up on the antenna. And you can see I get the EPC output over the socket with 30 seconds to spare. So as you can see, 
Speedway Connect makes integrating RFID possible for just about anyone. For more information about Speedway Connect software, please visit us at www.impinge.com. Thank you.